in the small town. If if they need him, he's there. Um, he, Port Wynn. Port Wynn. That's it. That's the name of the town. Port Wynn, yes. One, one of the things I like this show so much, and he goes, right in, and why is it on the show? Well, here's why. Uh, it's a small community. Everybody knows each other. They're not necessarily related, but everybody knows each other, and they have a way of meeting each other's needs. That's correct. They, uh, everybody seems to know one another, and, and they, uh, they're very, they take care of one another. That, that, that's the best way that I can put it. Yeah. And, and, and so, and they, I don't know how many people Port Wynn has, but the whole thing is, is when you take a, a town, when you take a community, like Olympia, now you're talking about Olympia, you're talking about LAC, you're talking about the county, you're talking about children, all these places, and you have all these people coming into one place, like they did where, you know, what we filmed there. Um, some, some kind of way, it's, uh, it's really refreshing to see that, whether we realize it or not, we get the small town. Um, what am I looking for? The, the, well, uh, the small town where people know each other and uh, they try to take care of one another and they're worried, uh, they care. Uh, if you need a trip to the doctor, they help. If you need food, they're there. Yeah. Um, yes. And uh, the people at Port, Port Wayne? Port Wynn. Port Wynn. Port Wynn, uh huh. Uh, uh, see, the actor is uh, Martin Clunes. And there's, there's four seasons. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> we have three in video form. And one on the computer, because it's not out yet. And season five, it hasn't been filmed yet. But we, we already talked about season five. That's right. We yeah. want it now. We don't want it later. <laughs> There's a lot of principles in those. There's storylines, principles, remedies. Uh... Um, and there's do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts, yeah. Um, for instance, uh, somebody was taking um, some drugs that were prescribed for, oh, for yeah. someone's wife, and all of a sudden their breasts got big. And uh, they were trying to figure it out, and they went to the doctor. He he diagnosed exactly what they were taking, and told them to stop. To stop, and in the process, he accidentally found another man in the was a triangle. And so it, it, it's a funny <laughs> story, but he's very rude. Uh, he's he's very rude, and um, he it, doesn't have a sense of humor. No, and he has no bedside manners. But you know what I learned from this. Uh, sometimes I'm like Doc Martin. I'm precise and rude. I have a little bedside manner, but it's, I cut people off all the time. I, I think that's the most irritating thing about me. And you know why I do that? Because you have a point to make. Uh, well, yeah, sometimes, way on the other end there somewhere. But no, it's like when I have a thought, if I don't stick it there, it's gone. You know, or I'm in a conversation and uh, maybe I have ADD or something because I already know what's next and maybe I'm just a psychic. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that could be. And yeah. I will just, a very famous man in Goswan, uh, the most famous psychic living at this time. Uh, and he's fun, he's really fun to be with. And you've been in a conversation. And all of a sudden, he looks, let's see, he looks to the right, and he walks off. And you say, wow, what was that? Um, I, I think his brain is done with whatever it is he needed to get out of what you were saying, and he just goes on to the next thing. And that's the same way that Doc Martin does. And I, so, so I am rude, because I have a reason, is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Well. But anyway, if you get a chance to watch Doc Martin, it's actually, you can watch it on YouTube. It's in nine little pieces, but it is wonderful. We can learn a lot. Um, we, can le <laughs> we can learn a lot from that. 
Uh, there's interesting storylines uh, to it also. Um, there's medical um, knowledge that uh, that he passes on. He makes sure that other people know about it. Um, it's passed from town member to town member, so they have a very, uh, being a small town, they have a very good communication. Grapevine. Grapevine, there we go. Now, uh, with the little time that we have left, uh, you've been here for six months, and you're getting ready to go... Back to Lake Connor Park in Lake Stevens, Lake Stevens. Washington. We've taken you to Lake Connor Park, and so... Um, and at the moment, you are at... Uh, come on. Uh, Lake Offutt. Offutt Lake! Offutt yeah. Lake Resort. Uh, it, it's, it's down from Wolfhaven. Yeah, that's a, that's a handle here. That's a, um, a cliffhanger. We're going to take you to Offutt Off Lake. That's the lake that had the weird stuff during the earthquake. So. In the next few weeks, we're going to take it off at Lake. Well, I couldn't do Wolfhaven, and here's why. Mike offered to film Wolfhaven, since I can't do anything at the moment. But the, the technicalities of the process to get permission to r drive through there and, you know, just film, it just, I couldn't justify the hassle of I couldn't justify the hassle of getting permission to do it, so I thought the best thing to do for you to go there yourself, and we're not going to take you to Wolfhaven, unfortunately. I, I'm i just not going to do it. Well, I, I think that that's a good decision to make. But it's yeah. sad, you know? It, it, it's very sad, but yeah. um, sometimes you have to... Yeah as you've taught me, uh, make that decision and uh, suggest that people go themselves yes. and get the experience that they need to get. And uh, that's very nice. Uh, I'm very partial to wolves. It's part of my totem. And uh, my uncle used to raise wolves. Loud. My uncle used to raise wolves. He had Pete 1 and Pete 2, he called them. <laughs> they were hybrids and one thing you find out is you never run from a wolf. I was playing ball with Pete too, and uh, I threw a ball and I thought I could outrun him for it. He showed me just exactly what he, he stood up, put all four paws on my shoulder, brought me down. Uh, every vertebrae in my back popped, and uh, then he went over next to the ball, which was maybe six inches from my nose, and he kind of looked at me as if, I dare you to try to get it. <laughs> uh, we're, we're just about out of time, but here's a quick wolf story for you. When I was very young, we were living in Tangdewal East. Um, um, I found what I thought was a Sherman Shepherd on the freeway that was badly injured, and I got it all fixed up and took it home and named him King. That's what he answered to, and uh, we became big buddies. He used to play with the kids. He would lay in our bed and sleep with us. And one day there was a knock on the door, and a man came and he said, I understand you found my wolf. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he said, I understand you have my wolf. And my mind said, oh, oh. <laughs> and I said, um, is that why he doesn't bark? <laughs> and he said, yes. So. I had had a wolf in my bed for I don't know how long. <laughs> and then I got scared. That's, that's my wolf story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, uh, we <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, recommendation. We welcome you to help or, uh, and participate in the activities that the community has in, in you know, in community dinners like that. We rec highly recommend Doc Martin. And um, what else? Regardless of what belief you are, you need to unite and, and work for the universe and for your creator and uh, do the things that you need to do to help one another uh, to survive and exist on this planet. Those of you that know me can look at my face and know what I'm thinking. So, 
But in some ways, I have to second what you said. We need to quit arguing. And I almost got political, <laughs> you know. No, I know we're you did. Doing it. We're not going to go there we're <laughs> because not gonna... we don't want to get started. <laughs> No, we're not going to get started. It's uh, like people have lost their mind. <laughs> they really have. And we're going to lose ours. We, we try to help them find it. Yeah, and if we run over time, they're going to they're gonna send this show back and we have to redo it. Um, there were some other things we wanted to talk about, but uh, we're out of time. So we will see you. Are we going to see you next year at, the, at Thanksgiving, you think? I sure hope so. Yeah. But, well, if not, we ran them off. That's all I got to say about that. Well, can, what else can we say but love and light? Next week. Bye. Bye. Well, it's too short. You know, you're right. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else community-oriented? It's been so long, I can't remember. Uh, yes, we have some powwow dancers. Oh, yeah. Let's use them and say goodbye. In closing. In closing. Okay, so then I guess next week it is, huh? Yes. Bye. Bye.